What's going on guys? Marcus Holman. Davey Emowa. <laughs> Both from Baltimore, Maryland. Both played at University of North Carolina. You know, I started playing lacrosse when I was probably five or six years old, and Same. both my parents had lacrosse backgrounds. They both played in college, so I mean, I truly didn't fall in love with lacrosse until you know, like my sophomore year of high school. I'd say. I mean, I still wanted to be a professional football player until I was in like ninth grade, and then that dream kind of got realistic. Yeah, <laughs> went to the pipeline. And... It wasn't really until Marcus came over from Boys Latin to Gilman that, that we started really being being good teammates. But um, you know, we had a blast going through the JV and varsity lacrosse teams, playing football. But I had a, a black high wall um, to start, and the mesh was about as deep as a girl's pocket. It was some white random pole, and then I yeah. think my next two sticks were an octane dyed purple and black for the Ravens, and then a viper. Wow. Uh, I think it was a yellow viper. Um, I, I had a hot wall as well. I think it sh was a shotgun ahead. I think that was a type of head. I think it was called a hot, I don't know. It was, they might have been the same thing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think my first real, like the real stick that maybe still is around is the Proton. Proton. That they've worked off of. The, yeah, the Proton was, was big time. Um, I still have a picture in our apartment there of me playing with the Proton when yeah. I was like in, Fifth grade or fourth grade, rocking 22 for Gary Gate, jersey tucked in and everything, no socks, frost, yeah, frosty 22. ankles. <laughs> but I'll never forget getting my, uh, so sticks I'm a little hazy on, but I'll never forget getting my first uh, Cascade helmet, like the old school. Uh, the so bucket, I literally, yeah. literally got it, was fully decked out for practice in the car ride. Oh yeah, to mouth like guard my, in. Like, fifth grade mouth practice. guard in. Yeah. Helmet on in the car. Yeah. That was a good feeling. <laughs> That's just kind of like who we are. Yeah, I guess. yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> and you see a lot of these pro guys, pro athletes, whether it be football, basketball, whoever your favorite player is. I mean, the message doesn't change from one player to the other. All of them worked yeah. really hard to get where they are, and that's sort of the mindset that we started taking on. Because really, if you want to be as good as you can be, you know, you got to start doing the things that are going to get you there. Start doing the things that are going to help you out. And and I mean, we learned it from guys that we watched. Growing up, I mean, I, I remember you know picking out uh, you know guys that were in college when we were in high school, role models that I looked up to, guys like Kyle Harrison, you know Mikey Powell, Joe Walters, um, you know guys that we kind of you know saw playing at the college level, and you know just whenever we got a chance to go out and watch a game, we were doing that, or you know the ESPNU television series started coming up when we were kind of coming through high school, so we had outlets to see other guys and. And uh, you know how they how they performed at, at the highest level. I, I honestly I could probably do a little more of this. Marcus does a lot. It's he's he's on YouTube watching every game that you can possibly think of, whether it be back when his dad was playing goalie for Hopkins in the national championship games <laughs> against against Carolina, <laughs> or you know whether it be an indoor game or just any anything a high school game. I don't know. It's yeah. you know you just you continue to watch and learn and. You can always learn and always get better and always see different things by watching other players play. And I think, like I said, I could even do more of it. And But it, even through what I have done, it's really helped me a lot. And Marcus hit on it, watching the ESPN U games was a big thing growing up. Um, yeah. And it's just it's a good thing to know what's going on in the sport that you're, you're trying to be involved in. I think it's to know the players and know the teams and styles and different things. And it's only going to help you, the mental part of your game in the future. Mikey yep. Powell, um, I, it was, I mean, he was probably the best attackman yeah. I've, I've ever seen live play. He, uh, just, he could do everything. Ground ball, he was the best rider. He was the best ground ball guy. He had shake and bake. You know, he, he could do everything. So, I, I mean, his highlight tape, again, I'll make, it, I'll, I'll make plugs for his highlight tape anywhere. Like, this is the best two-minute and 30-second, you know, clips you can watch. So, I, I really idolized him, and Kyle Harrison's one of the guys. When I was really young, there used to be a team, uh, I think it was the Baltimore Thunder indoor yep. lacrosse team, and we'd go watch them play. So, you know, I loved Gary Gate, and then my house was the same with Marcus, right down the street from Hopkins growing yep. up, so we'd see a lot of Hopkins players. Marcus mentioned Kyle Harrison was, you know, outstanding to watch. Um, I really liked Kevin Huntley. He was a lefty attackman at Hopkins. Yeah. We, you know, that, that was also back when the Final Four was at in Baltimore most years. 
or the year like Delaware was in it. Oh yeah, guys like that. Uh, Alex Smith, the Curtis faceoff Dixon. guy. That he was yeah, Curtis Dixon. They're yeah. still playing. Yeah, yeah. they're still balling. I, remember, I met, went in, what eighth grade, ninth grade, and saw Matt Janowski play in the Final Four. Yeah, um, and then I mean he's still playing too. So. <laughs> Uh, it's it's funny now to look back and see those are the guys that you watched growing up, yeah. and now you're sort of looking up to them, whether it be on your team or in the sport, and you know they're you're you're playing with them now. So hopefully, hopefully they don't see this and see us man crushing on them. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, I think the key to that is, and the message I would say to everyone is, continue to play multiple sports. Um, I know I really enjoyed football. I played ice hockey as well. Marcus played basketball, and you know it's it's something. A, you have a great camaraderie with guys on different teams. You get to meet different people and have different experiences. And I think that it it they also the other sports really help you. You learn other things from those sports yeah. that you can carry over to lacrosse if that ends up being your main sport, and it might not. And like like Davey said, you meet a different group of people with the different sports that you play, and I think that's all about kind of growing up and becoming becoming a man. You know, you go through different scenarios, and then athletically, you know, you're put in competitive environments where, you know, it's it's a little different than just playing lacrosse. Um, you know, you're down by a touchdown late in the game, or you know, you're you you have to travel and play basketball, and the team's playing zone against you the whole game. You know, how do you react to that? How do you respond? Just being active, being an athlete, I think is a better mindset than just saying I'm a lacrosse player. It's more about an active lifestyle and a competitive lifestyle at that. Um, and that's, I think, really helped us get to where we are.